In this Blender tutorial, I'll show you the video export settings that you can use to render out videos with transparency. And this method will work for both the 3D side of Blender and also Blender's video editor. Now, if you're just wondering how to render out an image and save an image that stores the alpha transparency, then I have another tutorial on how to do that, and I'll have a link in the description to that video and a card right up there on the screen. But in this video, I'll show you the export settings to saving a video with transparency. So if you're rendering something out in the 3D viewport in Blender, then you probably want to have some sort of transparent background. So I might be rendering out this monkey and I want the background to be transparent. Well, to do that, you can open up the film tab right here and you can click on the transparent button. So now the background is going to be transparent. You can see it is showing the checker there in the background. So when you render this, this will be transparent in the background. However, in this video, I'll be rendering something out in the video editor, but again, this method will work the same for both the 3D side of Blender or the video editor. So here I am in Blender's video editor, and I've loaded in my birdhouse animation, and I'll have a link in the description if you'd like to check out that tutorial and learn how to create this. But you can see I've just created a mask over this video, and so right here you can see there is this checkered area, and so I want to render out this video, but I want the video to keep the transparency, and that way I could overlay it on other videos when I'm video editing. And again, this will work whether you're in the 3D side of Blender or the video editor. So what you need to do is go here to the output on the properties panel. And the first thing that you need to do is set an output. So I'll save this on my desktop and I'll just type in video, or you can click here on the file icon and you can save this somewhere on your computer. Now, right here on the file format, we don't want this to be PNG because we're rendering this out to a video. So I'm gonna change this to FFmpeg video instead. Now, under the FFmpeg video, there is color options. So the BW stands for black and white and the RGB stands for red, green, and blue. However, I wanna save this to an RGBA, which is red, green, blue, and alpha. So the alpha is the transparency. However, with these current settings, we don't have the RGBA, so the alpha isn't after the RGB, and so anything which is transparent would be rendered as black. So to fix this, we can open up the encoding, and we wanna choose a container which supports alpha transparency. So to do that, I'm gonna change this to QuickTime instead. Then let's go down here to video and we'll go to the video codec and we need to choose a video codec which will support transparency. So we're gonna go right down here and we're gonna choose the QT, RLE, and slash QT animation. So choose that one there. You can see right back up here, we now have black and white, we have red, green, and blue, and we have red, green, blue, and alpha. And then we can scroll right down here and if you wanna choose any audio settings, I have the bit rate set to 256, the sample rate at 48,000, and I'm using the audio codec of AAC, but of course if you're not using any audio then you can just set the audio codec to no audio. So then if you haven't saved the Blender file yet, you should go file and save and just save your file. And then you can click on render and click on render animation or use the shortcut key of control F12. All right, so the video is finished rendering. So I'm now just playing the video with a video player on my computer. And depending on which video player you're using, it may not actually show the transparency, but the transparency should be there, even if you don't see it. And if you don't see it for some reason, you could add it back into Blender to make sure it has the transparency. So back in a new scene in Blender, if I go to the video editor, I can just drag and drop in the video that I rendered. And now if I go through this and play it, you can see it has the alpha transparency. And I could just stick this on top of another video. Like for instance, I might want to add a color so I can go add here. I can go down to color and just add a color strip and then I could make it maybe like a blue color. And so you can see this has alpha transparency because it is transparent all around here. And then there's just the circle with the video inside it. So I hope you found this helpful and thanks for watching. And if you'd like to learn more Blender quick tips, you can definitely check out my Blender quick tips tutorial playlist with the link in the description. But I hope you found this helpful and thanks for watching.